the show. First of all, you had a lot of weather issues. Kind of felt like you were like McKean with well, his hurricane. I wanted to paint atmosphere, and I kind of had a lot of atmosphere to, mm -hmm. to deal with the opening. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I see that it didn't affect you too dramatically because your work was up and you were able to have people come in and see you. Right. Anyway. People were able to uh, come either by boat or car. Yeah, it rained a lot on Monday, but uh, people came and since Monday I've had a very good re a good flow of traffic through the gallery. Okay. So it, it's been continuous and yeah. Yeah. we're now a few days in with a week to go and, yeah. you know. I think you've done really, really well and I have to tell you that we were talking earlier about the fact that your work is representational, but what is nice about it is there's a slight shift from the, the things that people might consider uh, typical, atypical right. of, of um, that kind of technique. Right. Style. Well, I paint, I paint from, um, from my memory and from, from sort of a nostalgic place in my head uh, of things that I have experienced living in Trinidad and Tobago. I have tried to move away from Trinidad and there is something that I have inside of me that brings me back. Mm -hmm. uh, something about our landscape that is it is burned in me and I try and represent that in, in my work. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, all the little humorous things in our day to day life and observations yeah. that I that I make. I, yeah. I produce it and create what seems to some as a, a, a photographic representation of something but mm -hmm. is not. Mm -hmm. I make it up and produce something that you think is recognizable but doesn't actually exist. Yeah, and I see you did, you decided to do a calendar year. Right. And and that was an interesting send-off because there's very little, if, I, if I'm if i wrong, please correct me, uh, Indian uh, representation, like Pagwa, uh, and I'm sorry that I think of it as Indian, but Diwali, right. because it's Hindu, predominantly Indian festival. Right. Which now, I, think is a nice cut. I like to have a theme to work with when I'm producing a show, and this year I chose the theme of a, of a calendar to at least fill the main body of, of my collection. Mm -hmm. But um, there is a lot of East Indian uh, themes in the 12 panels that make up the calendar because for me, uh, I'm extremely intrigued by the East Indian culture in Trinidad mm -hmm. and Tobago. And, and this is why for some months, like for March, I painted Pagua. I could have painted other things that, that occur in Trinidad and Tobago, but this is, I, I paint really from my own experiences yeah. and things that I am passionate about. Yeah. And I am passionate about all these aspects of, of what make up our whole landscape of Trinidad and Tobago. And I titled the show Landscape. And people are like, but I didn't see, you know, as much landscape stuff yeah. in terms of greenery. Yeah. And I do have a I think you're a way marking what makes us Trinidad by landscape. Yeah, we yeah, are. The, yeah. the Diwali. But the we need to see some more Chinese, Syrian and, and white. Well, this was a debate. <laughs> this was a debate. <laughs> October was a, was, a, was, a, was, a, was a decision I had to make between doing Diwali or doing uh, dragon boat racing. Ah, ah. yes. Right. How about yeah. what, what, what Double ten. What would they represent? Double, what ten. Double ten in October wow. when we all go to excellent stores. The excellent yeah. stores getting a plug. Right. You know, so by <laughs> <laughs> yeah. stuff, you know. So, yeah. but I don't really have. I, I did participate in Dragon Boat once. Yeah. But I have more of a feeling for Diwali. Yeah. And I paint from yeah. a feeling, so that took precedence over yeah. doing uh, something else other than. Well, you one. should have just done a Chinese shop or something like that, you know, the small well, next time. renderings. Let's do that in his next show. Yeah, well, in my next show, I do have a theme. One of the themes that I have in my mind is to do a show of, I'm not going to say, mm. but I have an idea that would incorporate stuff like that. Right. And I see you're working bigger, too. Again, I mean, I, my work started from being on a very small scale like this. That's how I began. And I have reached a stage now where I want to be more expressive yeah. and not as, as, as delicate, only because I want to paint more something that, that can generate more of a feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the triptych piece, which is the title piece of the exhibition that's on the invitation, called Sea Breeze. I wanted you to get a sense of being on the coast and feeling the, the sea breeze coming it's in. Salty, yeah. yeah, the kind of grittiness you yeah. feel and the stickiness yeah. you feel and and in in doing that I put down my brushes and I use uh, the palette knife to create and textures to create a more organic feel and to paint more of a feeling rather than something that's just ornamental. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, and I got a, an excellent response. Everybody that comes through the gallery and sees that painting talks about because of its texture, it's yeah. that feel. But they get the feeling. Yeah. They really feel the 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 nature of being on the East Coast mm -hmm. and, and and what you know. It, it, it's a sense. It, it's a feeling of, of fresh air for them <laughs> to be an artist. To be an artist. Um, well, I kind of grew up knowing that I can paint, so I kind of grew up with a degree of confidence that other people who aspire to be artists don't have yet. Uh, both of my parents were painters, so I kind of grew up in that environment, and, and they were already exhibiting their work and selling their work, and so I kind of went with that and developed yeah. my own skill beyond, beyond just doing it as a hobby, and taking it to a professional level. Um, my my profession was uh, in the travel industry. Uh, I worked at the airport for a number of years, um, and then I worked as a travel agent. And I was still painting, and the painting kind of uh, was taking more. There was more demand. There yeah. was no more, and, and I wanted to do it. And I think that yeah. we should work in something that we really are love. Passionate about. Yes. Love, yeah. We need to wake up every day and say, I I can't wait to do this. Thank you. Some you know, and. today about Trinidad and Tobago as um, I always have growing up and living here and though I have moved away, I've moved to England and I've moved to the States and I come back because it's part of, it's part of, of me yeah. and, and I paint from me and I need to be here to, to have all of this, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I enjoy it and I hope people that look at my work enjoy it and get the same joy and feel uh, from the work that I get from painting it. Peter, thank you so much for taking You're welcome. Thank and you very much for coming. Show. I know it's going to be lovely. Yes, I'm excited to, to think about doing that already, and that's another year away, yeah. next November. Okay. Thank November. you. <laughs> okay.